Yo guys, it's Riz here and uh, Genshin Impact version 3.3 is out, like the video or trailer of it is out. And I just wanted to do a reaction video on it, like I just want to watch it and give you my honest opinion on the video. I know I'm not a good, uh, big player in the game, but hey, reaction matters. That's what the company wants. Okay, so let's do it. <sighs> let's go. A friendly word of advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. Mm -hmm. So please, be sure to exercise caution. Ah! Ah! Not, not scared. Really. Really scared. <laughs> Who goes there? So, is there really a ghost huh. around here? Uh. Oh, I have watched so many enemies and they have this kind of stuff in it, so it's not it's anything new to me, okay? It's not anything new. Doctor? Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. Oh, From so we are getting forth, something new. Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? The Tore. The Tore. They never showed him. Who is he? <laughs> the Tore. In that Ooh, case, nice. I'll take some time for myself now. Ooh. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! We're getting him! And he's a catalyst user? Squall Fury. Oh! No! He can, he can, he can, he can fly? He can fly? I mean, he can propel, so he's like, chow in some manners? Yeah, somewhat like chow. Yeah, who? 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 I mean, I did thought that Balladeer, we will be getting Balladeer, but I honestly thought he was Electro. Okay, so we are getting some ball games. <laughs> okay, okay. So we are getting free Primos from here, here on out. But honestly, I really, ex really did not expect Balladeer to be an uh, animal user. And catalyst user at that. I really thought he would have been more like a sword user. Okay. So we're getting new events. Okay. So lots of primo coming coming in the upcoming version. Lots of more primos that you can easily get them. Easily. They're totally free. Like they're totally free. You don't have to do anything, anything at all, and you're getting free primos here. Well, almost anything. Ah. Okay, so Battlefield of the Cats, Dice and the Cards. Oh, so, uh, yeah, I saw the post about this. They were saying that there, there is a permanent game or something like that coming out in the upcoming version. So it's it's not going to be uh, like uh, going away after the event. It's going to stay. Uh, so we can play card games, huh? Good. Leyline plus overflow. Okay, Leyline's overflow challenge. New artifact set. Let's see what they do. Increase Flo uh, flower uh, paradise lost. Uh -huh. Increases element mastery by eighty. The equipment. 
the equipping character blue uh, bloom hyper bloom and uh, Berg, uh, bergon i'm sorry my english is really bad reaction damage are increased by 40 percent additionally after the equipping character triggers a bloom uh, hyper bloom and the boom if i uh, boom they will <laughs> They will gain another 25% bonus to the, uh, what is that? Effect mentioned. I'm sorry, my monitor has a black line in it, so it takes a while to understand what's written there. Uh, each stack of uh, this last 10 seconds, 10 seconds, max four stacks simultaneously. Okay, good. This effect can uh, the effect can only be triggered once per second. So every four seconds you are getting an a stack for another ten seconds. So a total of forty seconds. Huh. Okay. So in four seconds you are getting four, uh, forty seconds of twenty five percent bonus. Okay. So in my opinion that will be more mostly useful on the bloom teams or hyper bloom teams, mostly. The other one might not be that much good, but yeah, Bloom or Hyper Bloom will be good. And I just messed up my last one. Don't, don't, don't just do that, okay? Like, ignore that. Cut that out. Okay, so we are getting another set, which is Desert uh, Pavilion uh, Chronicles. I'm sorry again, my English is really bad these days. So, Animal Damage Bonus. Oh, so this is another animal set. Ah. So we have one which is called, uh, it has re really weird name, let's just call it the green uh, animal set. <laughs> so we do have that, so we are getting another one. So in my opinion, this, this is going to be the like uh, best uh, set for uh, Balladeer, but not sure for now. It, it needs some testing before the game, like before I can make anything. Uh, certain to myself that it is the best set but to me for now i think it would it would have been uh, it will be better for balladier because uh, we are getting 15 percent animal damage bonus uh, with two piece set and if we go with four piece set we are getting charge attack hit opponent uh, when the charge attack hit, hits opponent the equipping characters normal attack damage speed increases by 10 percent while normal Charge and plunging attack damage it will increase by 40% for 15 seconds. So we are getting bonuses at bonuses here. So we, we are getting 10% more attack step speed, which is going to be really good if we have the if if we have uh, something like let's say um, slow character uh, Cleomore character, which is animal. It's good. It could be useful for them because we can increase their attack speed and. Uh, uh, for now, I don't think there are any any uh, Claymore uh, animal characters that can do that much damage. Okay, so no, I don't think there are. So yeah, forty percent damage bonus, and we're still getting a good, good enough set. Okay, another catalyst and a sword. Hmm. All in all, this version. Mm, by the video that I saw this version and the information that they provided in this video, I would say that this upcoming version is going to be really mm, awesome in my opinion. Awesome. It's good because we are getting uh, a better, uh, s not better, but a almost good set by its uh, the information that is giving. We are getting a good set uh, of animal and uh, we are getting some we are getting uh, lots of primos which is always good because for me i'm always broke in the game like i only have five or six primo gems on me all the time like when i have enough i just purchase a wish boom they're gone <laughs> i can't wait okay i can't wait anyway so this was my reaction on the video and i wanted you guys to like mm, i'm gonna cut this part out Maybe not. Okay, so this was the, reac the reaction on, uh, on this upcoming version, and uh, I would say that uh, the the game is getting something somewhat interesting after a long while, long time. Because 
I've been playing since uh, uh, Child and uh, Zhongli were out. I've been playing since then. And uh, the game were, was interesting at start, but it, it like from here it started to go here, 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 here and here. And uh, the most lacking part in the game was there was no much, not much content in it. Like I when I when Dragon Spine was released, I would have played this game like four hours, five hours straight without any stopping. And uh, after that, Inosuma came, and uh, I wasn't that much motivated. But uh, Sumero was really interesting, and uh, I played it a lot. Sumero Desert and uh, Sumero both. I loved them. Okay, I really loved them. Their music is great. Their open world, their beauty is interesting. Like. Everything in Inazuma was amazing. Like there was beauty everywhere, the colors, configuration, everything was amazing. But in Sumeru, it was on a whole another level. Okay, whole another level. And I think it it was amazing. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Bye bye.